Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today we need to take a look at which EXs are going to be coming along in Stellar Crown, which you might think is a fairly easy answer, and some of the times it is. Sometimes we can look at the Japanese set on which a set is based. So here we're talking about Stellar Crown. The Japanese set on which it is based is Stellar Miracle. As I've told you a few times, there is only one set on which this is based. So this is just the English version of Stellar Miracle. And a lot of the time we can look and go, well, here are the ones in the Japanese set. Here's the number we're getting. Boog, we're done. Yay. Jobs are good and go home. Easy video, Wassy. Not this time, however. Because, you see, we are told in the press release that there are 14 EXs in Stellar Crown, comprised of four Terra EXs and 10 regular EXs. Now, the good news is the Stellar Terra EXs were golden. We're told explicitly in the press release there are four of them, and there literally are only four of them in existence. Yes, I know I showed you the Sylvie on the other day. Yes, that is coming at some point in the future. It's not even out in Japan yet. There is absolutely no chance that that is coming in Stellar Crown, all right? Not happening. So that means that we've got your Terrapagos, your Cinderace, your Lapras, and your Galvantula. Those are the ones... Jobs are good and, and there's no real arguments here. I refuse to believe we're not getting all four of them. That's the easy one. Those are your four Stellar Terra EXs. No controversy, no worries, no issues. Move on with your life. For what it's worth, Lapras is currently extremely underwhelming over in Japan. Cinderace is not the best one among them as far as I'm concerned. But it's doing well enough. It's popping up in. I've seen winning decks for it. Jumping up and all around. So, you know, free energy 280. Or free energy 180 to one of your opponent's bench. I'm not saying it's great. But I am saying I'm seeing it pop up. Galvantula is a good card. We're going to talk about more soon. That has item lock. And then Terrapagos, we know, does 30 damage for each of your bench. Combines with a new Stadium Card Area Zero Underdeath to do redonkulous damage. And yeah, that one's really good. Lapras is not good, I'm sorry. But one day, I mean, it can attach up to 20 energy. So there's at least potential there. So the Terra Stellar ones are fine, right? What about the others? And what we can essentially do is put them into categories and some are easier than others. So we got 10 regular EXs, four of them are easy. Because in Stellar Miracle over in Japan, we've got Dash Bunny X, and we've actually seen the special illustration rare, so that one is, as in, in English, 100% confirmed. We've got Hydrapple with its really nice ability to attach energy and attack that does damage based on the number of grass energy on the field. And I'm just putting it out there. I think Hydrapple's really good. I've seen it popping up in a few winning Japanese lists here and there, but I'm not seeing it be stunning. But I really like it. And we've seen the special illustration rare for that in English as well. So that is, again, 100% confirmed. We know that that is coming. There is absolutely no issue or controversy. Excellent. And then we've got Metacham and Orthworm. And again, they're not going to miss these ones out. They're in the Japanese set. Unless we have been told that they're being taken out to be used for something else we haven't they're coming 100 percent, no issues they are coming we are good excellent an orphworm i actually really like orphworm it's got an ability whereby when your opponent does damage to it they take two damage counters for each energy on orphworm and i'm just saying that adds up pretty quickly to a fairly hilarious ability not sure how good it's gonna be but as a card which is fun and interesting, I'm all over this one. I like this one very much indeed. So those four are easy. There's six left. And actually, three of them are pretty easy. Because three of them we've seen. Lucario, Melmetal, Greninja. All of which have been officially revealed in English. Or some European. I don't think they've actually all been revealed in English. But they've all been revealed from Stellar Crown in a European language of some description. Yeah, the Lucario I haven't actually got the English version of, but close enough. 
And you'll notice that these three have something in common. And what they have in common is they are not good cards. They are bad cards. They are very underwhelming cards. Greninja, two energy. 100, flip a coin if heads, 200. Flipping a coin to do 200 on a stage 2, two prize Pokemon, nah mate, that's terrible. Lucario EX, 2 energy, 50, 3 energy, 120, nah mate, that's terrible. And Melmetal EX, 4 energy, flip 2 coins, 100 for each heads. So you need to flip 2 heads, that's a 1 in 4 chance. After putting 4 energy on a stage 1, 2 prize Pokemon, just to hit 200 damage, when actually 220 is a key number, basic Pokemon V, and 200 isn't. 200 still isn't enough. Like, if it just did 200 for 4 energy, it would still suck, because that's too much energy and not enough damage, and you actually need to flip double heads. It's only going to do 200 one in four times. No. Terrible. But the reason they're terrible is because they're from the Battle Academy. Okay. And the Battle Academy is designed as a... As a beginner level product to help people learn how to play the game. I'm talking about the Japanese Battle Academy here, incidentally. And that's where they're from, and they are confirmed for Stellar Crown. Now, we actually had our own Battle Academy with Armor Rouge, Darkrai, and Pikachu, which were from the Battle Academy over in Japan. But Japan gets a lot more EXs in the Battle Academy than we do. They get a whole big bunch of them. We don't, frankly. So that means that there are some EXs potentially left over for us to get in our set. There's Sprigatito. Oh, but we got that in the Powdale Adventure Chest, so we're not getting that one. And there's Houndstone EX, but actually we know that's coming in its own box. So we're not getting that one. And then we're out of EXs from the Battle Academy. There aren't any others. We have officially sourced all of the EXs from the Battle Academy... We know where they're all coming in. And we're still three EXs short. Oh, okay then. Well, I'm pretty sure I can help you with all three of them to some degree. You see, one of the cards we have had actually confirmed officially for the set is Squirtle, the illustration rare. That was a big deal. We've talked about that before. And that came from the Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur EX deck over in Japan. Which also had alternate RTXs of those three Pokemon. Now, the Charizard is not coming in this set. Because I showed you the other day the Charizard EX Super Premium Collection. That is coming with the alternate art Charizard from this deck over in Japan. But we still have the Blastoise and we still have the Venusaur. And we haven't had word yet on where they're coming. So this seems like a pretty sensible prediction. Not confirmed, not guaranteed or any of that. But it seems like a pretty sensible prediction. We've got these two EXs, which we're missing. It's about time we got them because it's been a while. And a couple of the other cards from that set are already confirmed for Stellar Crown. So, I'm saying that those are going to be two of the other EXs we're getting. Excellent. Wonderful. That's still only nine. And I think number ten, at this point, has to be a random gym promo. Because there are no other EXs. Honestly. Like, that's your answer. There are no other EXs running around. So... It's got to be one of those. So which one's it going to be? Well, the most recent gym promo from Japan that we actually did get was the Scovillain in Temporal Forces, which is important because it means that we had an actual gym promo in a set, which doesn't always happen. So the fact that we got a gym promo in a set tells us that Pokemon are willing to do this. They're willing to basically take these promos and whack them into sets. So we've got the Scovillain. Which one's next in line? It's Garganackle. Garganackle's next in line. After Garganackle, the one that we got was Flamigo. That was Garganackle was Scarlet and Violet 4. Our, well, what was for us Paradox Rift. 
Flamigo was Scarlet and Violet 5, or as we would call it, Temporal Forces. Scarlet and Violet 6 was Killer Wattrell, what we would know as Twilight Masquerade. And then very recently, Scarlet and Violet 7, our what is going to be Stellar Crown for us, we know that the EX in Japan was the loser. But of course, we get these on a little bit of a delay. Like I said, Garganackle's the oldest one on here, and that was Scarlet and Violet 4, and we're talking about which one's going to be coming out in English in Scarlet and Violet 7, three sets later. And Garganackle's the obvious choice here, just because you would imagine they'd want to release them in order. So I'm saying it's probably going to be Garganackle. I'm, I'm not saying it for absolute certain. It doesn't have to be Garganackle. It absolutely could be Flamigo, or it could be Kilowattrel, or it could be the loser. But because they're more recent, I just assume they're not coming in the set. So Garganackle is my prediction. We know for a fact, or as near as, what seven of the ten are. And my predictions for the other three are Blastoise, Venusaur, and Garganackle. For all the reasons I've outlined in the video. This is not confirmed or official at this point. We'll have to wait and see. They could put some of the other gym promos or cut any of these three out. But I think at this stage it's fair to assume that they are going to be the ones. Like I said, the Terra Stellar Pokemon, well easy to figure out that list. The other 10, not so easy. But we've done it now, so now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these cards you're excited about. Tell me if you've got a better suggestion for which EXs are coming. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Tamblin, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.